as we begin to progress on our bike and look to complete longer rides, we suddenly realize the need to carry a whole heap more stuff. Mechanical spares, food, even items of clothing to see us through. And then the question arises, where do we carry all this stuff? Well, I've learned a few things over the years. And in this video, I'm gonna tell you all you need to know. Three, three pockets in a cycling jersey then. May seem like a strange place to have pockets. I mean, what are they there for? But the main benefit is that they are a super convenient place to put your items and not lose them. Like you would maybe with baggy shorts and pockets on the side of your legs, which can often be the cause of lost items. And it's also really easy to access them whilst you're riding, keeping everything nice and safe right here. Here's the system that I personally go for when stashing stuff in my pockets. In the middle, that's where I want to put the bulk of my items. Normally, the place for a lightweight rain jacket, which I bring on most rides just as an emergency item. It's good that it's light because it's so easy to pack. Stuffable goes in the middle pocket with ease, ready to be brought out when necessary. I normally like to use that middle pocket for my phone and my wallet too, just fitting it in nicely behind my rain jacket where it's nice and snug and it won't fall out. Good idea to use something like a ride wallet where you can put your phone in. It keeps it nice and dry, avoiding sweat and rain damage and all those long rides, keeping it nice and compact too and stopping any credit cards slipping out, which can happen when they're loose inside your jersey pockets. If you don't have one of these, I'd recommend using something like a sandwich bag where you can wrap your phone and your cards up or your money, keeping it nice and dry, protecting it from the elements. There we go. This is how I do my food as well. So I normally keep my ready to eat food in my right hand pocket. I'm right handed and that's the easiest one to get into. So that's where all my gels and bars are kept. Then I go for a clean, dirty pocket system. So once I've eaten, a bar and got a bit of a dirty, sticky wrapper. Then I put it into the left-hand pocket. Keeps everything clean. You're not putting your hand back there and getting a big gooey mess throughout the rest of the ride, which goes in your handlebars and everywhere else. And it keeps things a little bit easier out on your ride. And if you see a bin, you then empty your pocket, start again. You're gonna stop and buy more food or maybe you've brought all your food for your ride and you can keep on munching, which I'm about to do now. If you want to avoid bringing a jacket with you, good little tip is to stuff something up your jersey. Normally a newspaper, something insulating. I've gone for an old uh, envelope here, which I'm gonna put up my jersey for the start of my ride. And then once it starts to warm up, I can then throw it away or recycle it. In a bin, en route, newspaper works better. Is it a bit easier to fit up? I was in a rush this morning, so that was all I could find. Things like arm warmers. Instead of putting them in your pockets, we don't need them. Nice and simple, just to roll them down, keep them on your wrists when necessary and when you need to roll them back up, the wind does start to pick up and things get chilly. Sunglasses don't put in my pockets, normally put them on the back of my head or I hook them in my jersey, just like that. Just any little tricks you can use to stop yourself cramming your pockets so they're absolutely full. Of course, it's not just your back pockets where you can stash stuff. You have a whole bicycle underneath you that you can use to attach things to and carry items. And in my case, I have a rather large bike, so plenty of space to store items. I'm a huge fan of the saddlebag, a perfect place to carry all your essential mechanical emergency items in a neat, and tidy position on your bike, not on your body. Those mechanical items tend to be heavier, so keeping that weight off your back and on your bike is a good thing. This is a saddlebag which I use on most of my rides, and I'm a big fan of it, mainly because it is a roll top bag, so you don't have the zip, and I've found that it does keep it lasting a bit longer, especially in the grit and grime of the Northern Hemisphere. I use a good multi-tool, strong tyre levers, got a CO2 canister, a small little um, pump to go on that as well in here. Basically all my essentials, spares, tubeless, 
plug kit, multi-tool, and also I keep an inner tube just in case I have any emergencies. All that stashed in there, kept nice and handy behind my saddle. And look at that, all that would be in my pockets if it wasn't for a bag. Of course, there are other ways to carry your mechanical items other than a saddle bag. I've got this nifty little bag here underneath my bottle cage, that's from Top Eek. It's a Ninja, part of their Ninja series. And if you're doing a smaller ride, maybe you don't need quite as much gear to go the distance and you can store a few handy little items in there. Another great way to keep some of those emergency essentials. Also, if I am doing a longer ride, I do tend to bring your usual hand pump with me. They come so compact these days, fit nicely into your middle pocket along with my foam, my wallet and my rain jacket. So they're nice and snug. And just in case you know you run out of gas or you have a bigger mechanical problem, it is a good idea to keep one of those just as a backup. Of course, you could go the whole hog and use a handlebar bag, everything in one place. You don't have to be quite as thrifty in terms of what you bring on your ride. You can stuff it all in, carry a whole heap of gear, and it's all there at the front in an easily accessible place. But these bags, these humble bags, do tend to divide opinion. Sai doesn't like to use one, and here is his explanation why. It's not that I don't like handlebar bags. There is definitely a time and a place for them, but for me, day to day, it's not what I'd use. There's two reasons why not. Firstly, it doesn't strike me as a very efficient place to carry stuff on a bike. Look, here is my road bike, aerodynamic, svelte, fast. What is the point in sticking a giant piece of fabric there where you're most gonna feel it? And then secondly, it's also overkill for day-to-day -day riding. Like, what are you gonna put in there that you actually need? I have a sneaking suspicion that if I had a handbar bag, I would fill it with crap and then just lug around an extra couple of kilos for every single bike ride. So for me instead, I, for short rides, just fill my jersey pockets with a tube and a pump. Then for longer rides, I'll have a small saddle bag. For even longer rides, I'll add a top tube bag for that. For even longer rides than that, I'll have a slightly bigger saddle bag. And it's only then when I'm going for more than a day that I'll stick a handlebar bag on there. And that, I think, is when they're great. Thanks for that, side. To counter it, though, this is why I love handlebar bags. Basically, you can carry everything you need. Food, clothing items, mechanical spares, pots, pans. OK, that's maybe a little bit overboard, but you get the picture. You can carry a whole heap of stuff right here in one place. And if necessary, you can take those items from your jersey pockets and put them in your handlebar bag. I love that because when I was racing, I often used to get quite sore back if I carried too much in my pockets and I was always carrying bidons and bottles for my teammates. So now I quite like taking that weight off my back, carrying it on my bike. Makes me a more comfortable ride. Don't get any sore spots in my back when I'm riding. And everything is here, it's easily accessible. I can unclip my bag and take it with me if I'm going into a cafe or I'm stopping to take a photo. It's all waterproof. It's all where I need it to be, right there on my handlebars. So there you go, a few handy bits of advice I've learned over the years for carrying all my gear and items on my beautiful bike. But let me know in the comment section down below if you've got any other solutions we may have missed in this video. And if you did find it useful, please give it a big thumbs up. Thanks for watching as always, and we'll see you on the next video. I'm gonna go and enjoy the ride now. Cheers everyone.